in my My name is Kesley Be welcome to another of my tutorial. If you're on my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe. And if you're on our Facebook page, please make sure you like our page. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Ankara picture frames. And this one I'm making is the um, shelf size picture frames. I have a video on how to make large picture frame. You can go through my channel or my page to find that. So, this particular picture frame, you can see that I already made this and in this uh, tutorial you'll be seeing how I made this one I'm just letting it dry out right now and I used Ankara fabric of course and you can use different kind of fabric I love fabrics that are bright and just colorful so continue watching so that you can see how to make this and make this for yourself at home so in making this um, picture Ankara picture frame. I'll be using this Ankara fabric. I always go for fabrics that are bright. And this is my carton. I'm using a very hard carton. So the first thing I did was I measured this, which is about 10 inches by 8 inches into two places. But I like to go for, you know, a bit um, lesser than 10 inches. So I'm reducing this to about 9 inches or probably 8 inches. Uh, this is just like the average size I use. I would be needing about three pillars for this project. And the first one is one and a half inches by the length, which is about eight inches. And then we have a third one that will be going at the bottom there. So we are at the top because at the bottom you don't put anything at the bottom because that's where the picture slides in from. And this one you can see this is one and a half inches too by just the size of that space you have there. So the extra carton I'm showing you now is what I'll use for the stand for the picture frame. So I'm just showing you a sample and how this will look like. So that sample I showed you has the, the base, the frames, and the sides, and the pillars. So I'm using top bones, and I'm using a brush too, and scissors. So I apply the top bonds on one of the pillars of the, I mean, carton pillars, and I place that over one of the base. Now do the same for the three pillars and allow that to dry. Next, I'll take the other base and measuring one and a half inches on the four sides. As you can see, I'm using my pen to mark that, that point out because I'm trying to create an opening right there where the pictures can be seen. So I feel like one and a half inches is not okay. Since my pillar is one and a half inches, I will need to make this wider than that. So I went for about two inches or 1.9 or 1.8. And I'm using my ruler to just get at the square. I'm joining these dots together to give me a square. And that square, I will open that square. You can use a scissors or a pocket knife to open up the space in the middle
Next, I'll lay my fabric on my workstation and I'll place the uh, carton I just opened up on top of my fabric as you can see in the video and I'll be using a ruler to just create like an X in the middle of the opening. You see me doing that soon. I'm using the scissors to open this up and I just want to ensure that I don't go exceeding that uh, line because you don't want it too wide or not getting to the end of the line. You just want it exactly where your um, you know, pen drew that at. So now I'm placing back the carton on top and I'm applying top bond or mud podge on one surface of the carton. I always like to apply this enough so that the fabric you know stay glued to the carton and just stay firm so I place this on top and I'm applying the mud podge inside the square on the fabric because I'll be flipping that fabric over Now I'm applying Mod Podge on the SS fabric and also I'll be flipping that over and you want to ensure that it is firm and you know just very neat. You don't want any part rumpled, you know, just make it as neat as possible. I'm taking the other carton which will serve as the base. I'm applying Mod Podge at the back and I'll place that on my fabric. Apply Mod Podge on the excess fabric and flip that over. And I'll know that I'm done with that. Next, I'll need to cover up the square showing at the middle. So I just cut a piece of fabric that can just cover up that point there and apply my Mod Podge right there and place the fabric over it so that that part is covered and looking very neat. You can use other colors of fabric there 
in case probably it's just there without the picture to still look nice you can use a plain fabric you can use another fabric that you feel that will match with the Ankara fabric you're already using time to work on the base and you can see this is how I did it um, I'm gonna show you the measurement I said with 4 by 5 by 3 by 4 you can write that out 4 by 5 by 3 by 4 so by the time you add it all together um, you know what I will give you but I'll still show you in the video and also sometimes this is dependent on how big your fabric is the bigger your fabric the bigger the stand will be or the longer the length of the stand will be so most times the stand is usually like starts from half the length of the picture frame so just remember that and for this for the width i always go by three but if your um, picture frame is larger you can just make it larger so this there's no actual numbers to this it's just, it's just for you to determine how you want it to you know be and the kind of picture frame you are using that will determine this so i'm applying mud podge at the back of my um carton and i think in the front too because i'll need to wrap this up with fabric completely once I'm done with that, I'll fold it into the shape that I want and then attach it to the picture frame. to the back of the picture frame and to the stand and then i'll attach it to it and once this is um, placed on top you leave it for some few hours to be firm and to just dry out so at the end of the day this is how you get your picture frame i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um you know if you have any questions please make sure you leave it in the comment section if you have any other thing to say please leave it in the comment section don't forget to 
like and share this video and subscribe too bye bye see you guys in my next tutorial love you